Hi, this is the second half of module 3.5, distributed property. So when we talked about it on the previous module, we said that distributed property means to multiply. So that's what we're fixing to do. We're going to multiply and we're going to get rid of these parentheses. So in the beginning, if you want to, you can put a multiplication symbol, a dot right here, just so that reminds you that the operation is multiplication. So we have to remember to multiply and get that rid of first. So we're going to take negative 2, whatever's on the outside, right next to our parentheses, and we're going to multiply it to each item, each term that's inside the parentheses. So I have negative 2 times 3x, and I'm going to go ahead and write it like this first. And then I have negative 2 times negative 5. And if you don't want to do this step, you don't have to. You can do the multiplication in your head. But I'm just writing this out to the side just so that you can kind of get a visual of what it should be if you did multiply this stuff in your head. Okay, so I have a negative 2 times 3x, a negative times a positive is a negative. So that gives me negative 6x. Then here I have negative times a negative makes a positive. So 2 times 5 is 10, so that's positive 10. Now when I get out here, this is when you want to look at what you have left over. If you have an x here, and let's say I had 10x here, they would both be considered like terms, so at that point I would want to add them together. But because this has a variable and this does not, they're not like terms, so you cannot put those together. So this is just your answer. So I would just like to bubble my answers, but that's my final answer, okay? All right, let's go to the next one. So this is 5. I'm not going to put the dot this time. 5 times 7f, so that would be 5 parentheses 7f. We're going to be consistent, and then 5 times 9. And remember, if you wanted to do that step in your head, you can. Um, sometimes in the beginning, it's easier to write it out. That way, you can visually see what you're doing instead of trying to remember what you're doing. Sometimes we need that visual representation. So we have 5 times 7 is 35 and that's F, and then 5 times 9 is 45, and everything's positive. So here we have 35F plus 45, and notice that, once again, they don't have anything in common, so that's our final answer, okay? Now let's look at the last example. On the last example, you'll notice I have a subtraction or an opposite, an inverse sign right here. What does that mean? That means that's an understood one. I like to call them spirit ones because, you know, they're there. You just can't see them. You can call them a ghost or whatever. But we're going to take our negative one, our understood spirit negative one, and we're going to multiply that by the 4x. And then we're going to take our little spirit one, negative one, and we're going to multiply him to the positive two. So, last but not least, we have a negative times a positive makes a negative. Now, when you multiply 1 to anything, remember, a couple of modules back, we talked about the multiplicative identity is 1. So, when you multiply 1 times anything, it doesn't change the 4x except for the sign. So, that's going to be negative 4x. And again, this is multiplicative identity. 2 times 1 is 2. The only thing that changed is the sign comes a negative 2 and those are not like terms so we just leave them alone so that's only three examples of the distributed property but remember in algebra we use distributed property a lot and that's what we're fixing to do when we start doing our one step and multi-step equations is we're going to use this distributed property in order to solve and find out what these little variables really are Okay, I'll see you, see you in the next module.